Okay, let's um, have a look at this area you're getting in iTunes. Um, I'm assuming the effect you're getting um, is that you have some uh, songs in your library that when you go to play them, you get this error. So, original file cannot be found. So, so what we can do is we can recreate a new library and drop all your media onto that without moving it. But it's relatively straightforward to do. Um, so I'll show you how to do it. So first thing to do, get out of iTunes. Just quit out of it. When you go to the iTunes icon, um, hold down the Alt key, the left Alt key, when you start it. And what you should get is this little prompt where you can basically get to create a new library. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new library and drop all your media into it so you, so you can get it back again. So what we'll do is create a new library. It'll ask you where you want it, so put it wherever you like. Mine's in my music folder. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll call this new iTunes library or whatever, call it whatever you like. Okay, so there we go. You'll see you don't have any music or anything in there now. Now before we drag and drop the audio and the media back in, uh, a couple of things we need to do. Go to your iTunes preference, preferences, there we go. Okay, um, pop into the advanced settings. Okay, you can see where your media location is going to be. Um, what you want to do is get rid of that one, the copy files to iTunes media folder when adding to library. If you don't turn this bit off, when you drop the media back on, what it will do is it will duplicate all your media, which can be a pain in the backside. So make sure that's turned off, click OK. Now what we need to do is just find your existing media that um, you know you know it's there, uh, it just wasn't showing up in your library. Pretty easy to do, go through, find your media library, uh, wherever your files are, for example mine are here so I'll have loads of stuff under music um, you'll see that all my files are there okay so what you do is basically just drag either individual um, individual albums so for example if I drag one individual album what it should do is import that album there we go that's done so there you go I should now be able to play which I can. Um, the other thing that's worth checking, if you right click and select show in finder, what you want to do is to make sure it hasn't duplicated your duplicated these files for you. Um, the easiest way to do that is go up to the name, right click and just make sure it hasn't changed that path for you. Okay. So what it's done is it's imported the file in but it hasn't duplicated it for you. Okay. Now what you can do, rather than dropping in individual albums like I did there, Okay, is you can go down and just drop in all of your music. So if you wanted to drop in everything, or all your movies, um, you know, all all your media, which should be under your library, just drag and drop that whole folder in. Okay, so for example, if I wanted to drop all of my movies, pick up the mo movies folder, drop it into iTunes, and it will start processing it. Now, if your library is quite big, it can take a little while. So just be patient and let it let it run. Um, once it's finished, you should have all your media in there. Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yeah, that'll be my daughter's then. Um, okay, so what we should see, for example, now is, is I've got a lot of movies that are imported. Um, and also, if I look at the location when it's caught up, we should see that it hasn't changed the location, which it hasn't. Okay, so we've now got a, a new clean library with all those files in that you needed. Um, you should now be able to sync your um, your iPod or, or whatever to this library and it should just work. One thing to watch out for though, if you have actually lost some files and you have them on your iPod um, but you don't have them on your computer, then you need to be careful because if you sync your iPod or your iPhone to this now, it will overwrite what's on your phone. So you need to get off what's on your phone first before syncing. Um, Anyway, that's pretty much it. It should be relatively straightforward. Um, a big library can take a while. Uh, mine is... Let me have a look. Mine was about 1.2 terabytes, and that, to do an import on, took a good four or five hours on a, a powerful machine, but that, that's a lot. So, you know, just be patient. Let it run. Um, I'd avoid trying to stop it if it started. 
um, because you'll end up having to create another new library and redoing it again because it corrupts it. So basically let it run, let it finish, um, and you should end up with a clean library. Anyway, I hope that helps.